First of all, shortcuts. You don't have to enter multiplication when a number followed by a letter, for example, 2x or 2s or 2r, uh, it automatically knows that you're multiplying the variable, so you can just enter 2x, 2r, 2s, or whatever. If you have a letter or a number followed by an opening parenthesis, then it knows that you're going to multiply that parenthetical expression, and you do not have to enter the multiplication symbol. If you have a number or a letter followed by a function such as sine or log or cosine or something, you don't need to enter the multiply, it is assumed. And finally, if you have a closing parenthesis followed by an opening parenthesis, it knows that the two parenthetical expressions are going to be multiplied together. So you don't have to enter the multiply sign and you can save some time in those cases. Next, equation writer will accept the I or the E direct from alpha. So you can go alpha E or alpha I. And when you put those two specific letters into your expression, it automatically assumes that I is the complex number, the uh, imaginary part of the complex number, and that E is the exponent or exponential value and your algebra will work quite satisfactorily. Now the equation writer has four modes of operation called entry mode, term selection mode, selection mode, and cursor mode. When you are using the entry mode, you are putting in your terms and operators and using the right arrow to select terms to the left of the cursor to which you want to apply the next operator or function. Each time you press the right arrow button, more terms to the left are selected. So normally the only thing that you need is the right arrow when you're operating in entry mode which is the default mode when you enter the equation writer. Let us clear the stack and uh, enter an expression. So we go right shift clear and we clear the stack and we are in RPN mode. We do everything in RPN mode. So we're now going to enter an expression. So to open the equation writer, we press the right shift and this button here, you can see EQW in the orange color. And we have a flashing square for a cursor in the middle of the screen. So we enter the first component. 3x, we use the x here as a convenience, plus 4. 3x plus 4 has been entered. Then we select the component and uh, press the multiply. So to select, remember we use that, the right arrow and then we press multiply and it puts it in brackets for us and then we enter the first term of the second component which is 5x squared so we have to raise it, we're using the yx button here and put in the 2 so we have 5x squared, as you can see in the display. And then we select the term and press minus 2. 5x minus 2 is what we're trying to enter. So we press that one that selects the x. 
press it again to select the whole 5x and with that selected we press minus 2 and then we select the entire expression so far and we press divide to insert the division bar so notice as we press the right arrow here we select more and more of the terms to the left that's the behavior of it so we press it one two three till the entire expression is selected and the reason for that is that we want to divide the entire expression so now when we press the division it puts our divide line and we're down in the denominator so we want to enter the denominator expression which is 3 root x minus 1. So we put 3, then we go right shift, then we go, here is our square, we could have just used that too, but this is our root button here, so we do that. And we then put x minus 1 and we have secured our denominator. So we press enter now to place the entire expression into the stack. And there you see our expression in the stack at level 1. Now if we want to store the expression, we enter the variable that we are going to call it and we can press store. So we are going to give it a name. So to use this now, we just we have to encase the thing in tick mark. So we press tick mark and we write we are going to use alpha to call this what are we going to call it we are going to call it R I Q it's just random letters just to show you how to store expressions so we have RIQ in tick marks and we press enter now and it has it there on the stack. And when I press the store key, everything disappears and my RIQ comes here as a variable. Or oh, sorry, in a stored expression. So if I press that now, brum, it's back on level one of the stack. So that's the basic where you use the equation editor operating in entry mode.